to where I'm just getting up and close and personal with you guys. Um, I don't have any pants on. Hey guys, it's V. So I love watching these types of videos and so I thought that I would do it myself because let me tell you, there is a lot of products that I regret spending my hard earned money on because I do work, no one sends me nothing and all of these products that I paid for, I'm a little ashamed to say that I paid for them. So the first product that I regret buying is this Makeup Academy All Matte Palette and I actually got this off of eBay and I think that I spent a good 17 or $18 on it. This is what it looks like here. A lot of the shades are really similar to the Naked One palette, but the issue that I have with this is the pigmentation on it is just not good. Like, let's just take some swatches here. Yeah, I bought this. This is normally only available in the UK, and as you guys know, I live in Texas. So, yeah, that is uh, what we've got going on there. It's just super, super, um, what's the word? Not pigmented. And for me having this shipped all the way from the UK, it just was not worth the money to me at all. The next thing that I regret purchasing is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation. And I know people are gonna hate me for saying that I regret purchasing this, but it did not do anything for my skin. In fact, it looked really, really cakey and I have combination skin and it just was not good i got the powder and the powder is all right but after using this like after two days of using this i just stopped using it because i did not like it at all it was a waste of my money the next thing here i actually just recently bought it was in my last makeup haul which i'll link down below for you guys so you can see what else i bought that i don't regret this is the Alme smart shade perfect and correct primer and it is this one that has the blue and purple swirls packaging 100% this is beautiful but it sucks it actually like does not prolong my makeup and actually makes my makeup a little bit more slimy throughout the day and makes it a lot easier for it to wipe off so this was uh, not worth the like 13 14 dollars that I spent the next thing that I regret purchasing is something that I got before I think I even started making videos and I got this from Bunny's recommendation and I just, I don't know if it's that I don't like it, I just never use it, ever. It is the Lemonade Color Correcting Eyelid Primer Base and it's just this super creamy yellow, um, eyelid color correcting base and I don't know just I've only used it a number of times and it actually didn't prevent any kind of creasing on my eyelids I just don't really think that it helped me that much and I want to say this was like 20 bucks so the fact that I've only used it a handful of times and I've had it for a while yeah I definitely regret getting that one the next thing that I regret purchasing is this palette. And this is a Lorac palette that was exclusive to Cyber Monday in 2014. And I got it and I have maybe used it once. And it was $15 with $7 shipping. So it cost me $22, which for a Lorac palette, it's not bad. And I mean, the shadows are pretty and everything. They're, they're really pigmented, really creamy. I mean, they're nice. I may just have to give this away because it's a really pretty palette. Like the, the colors in it are really pretty. I just never use it. I, I've literally not, I've, I've used it maybe once, maybe. That's like stretching it. I don't even know if I've used, I don't even know if I've used it once. I think I may have like swatched it on my hand and then been like, eh, I'm gonna go with something else. So definitely regret purchasing that for $22. The next thing that I regret purchasing, I actually did a video on and I'll link it down below and my opinion hasn't changed on it, but I just never use this and that's the Maybelline The Smokes palette. I just never use it. I never reach for it. The colors are really dark and I mean, they're, they're pigmented, they're nice, 
I just never reach for it. So to me, it was kind of a waste of 10 bucks, but it's still a nice palette. If you, if you do smoky eyes frequently, I think this is a good palette for you, but I just don't do smoky eyes frequently enough. And I don't believe I've used it very many times. The next thing that I regret buying is these Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potions, specifically these two, the Anti-Aging and the Eden Shade. The reason that I regret the anti-aging shade is that it is so moisturizing. Let me let me take it out of my hand. Moisturizing that it does not prevent creasing at all for me. And I've used quite a bit of this. I've used a lot and it just it sucks. It doesn't work for me. It might work for someone that needed anti-aging, but I have really oily eyelids anyway. I was going to get the original one, but this was the only one they had in the mini, so I had to get this one because I don't normally buy this full size because it's more expensive. You get more bang for your buck with the little one. So yeah, I got this because I didn't really have another choice and I don't like it. Now the reason that I bought this one in the full size, this was in my very first Sephora haul I ever posted on this channel, which was September of last year. And I'll link that down below for you guys as well. But yeah, this I bought for myself for my birthday. I went to Sephora and spent like a hundred bucks, which for me is a lot to spend at Sephora. So I got this and the reason I don't like it is because it separates so bad. Like, let's see if I can even get it to do it. It like, yes. Okay. Do you see what's happening here? Look at that. Look at all that water. It's dripping off of my hand. And so that makes it so wet that it doesn't work as an eyelid primer. Like it, it will go on my eyelids and everything, but it doesn't help my makeup to stay at all. So that just separated really bad on me and this was the more expensive size and so i'm really upset about it because i definitely have at least half of that left and i can't use it because it just doesn't work it's just a it just separates real bad so i think that pretty much everybody includes these in their products i regret buying and i'm gonna include it in mine and that's the eos lip balms like samantha here on youtube said these suck they really do suck they are not moisturizing nothing about them is good they they kind of smell okay but these suck ass they really do and i don't know why but i have like four of them and they suck but i still have them for some reason the next thing i regret buying is this eco tools correcting concealer brush and if you guys see this don't be fooled by the adorable cute little teal thing here this brush sucks okay it's one of those brushes that was not packed densely enough. Like, okay, you can see right here, that huge gap right there. When you try to use this on concealer, like here, it hurts, it literally hurts. And it was a total waste of money because I used it once and it hurt my eyeball. And so I stopped using it and I didn't return it, which I probably could have because it's Walmart, but yeah, this sucks. Don't ever purchase that. Next thing in here is something that is raved about on YouTube. And so I totally gave it to the hype, but I don't like it. The Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser Dark Circle Treatment Concealer. And I tried this. I wanted to like it, but it looked so cakey on my under eyes and so i used it like twice and i haven't touched it since and so it's just kind of wasting space in my bathroom because i'm not using it again i refuse i don't like it the next thing in here i am so sad is in here because honestly they changed their formula and that really upsets me and that is the clean and clear advantage three in one exfoliating cleanser and yeah they changed their formula and now it really sucks like it leaves this gross film on your skin when you wash with it and so i refuse to purchase this again i bought this whole tube used it once now it's been sitting in my shower gathering up goo so yeah i will not be purchasing this again it sucks it's gross i wasted my money on it and i'm really angry that they changed their formula change it back clean and clear we don't like this new formula i know more than one person who doesn't like it so the last two things I have here are from Lush and you know, I love me some Lush, but what I don't love is Lush's products that they recommended me for my psoriasis, which there's a hair on my mouth. Meh, meh. 
which I've mentioned here a couple times that I do have psoriasis on my scalp. It gets really bad if I do not take care of it. So I thought that I would go to Lush because you know, they're all natural products and all that stuff. I thought that that would work for me. So I talked that I talked to them and they recommended some products to me. Absolutely none of them worked. They actually made my hair worse, my, my psoriasis. They made it so much worse. It was so itchy, so bad. So the products that I bought are the Blousey Shampoo and the Super Balm Scalp Treatment. And I also bought the Hair Doctor, which I don't have because I don't have the packaging anymore because I threw it out because it got nasty. But yeah, so I got those three products and my scalp has never been so bad. It was unreal. It, it, it itched so bad. I was making like scabs. Like I know that's probably disgusting, but it just was, oh, it was so bad. So I completely regret getting them because I spent about $100 at Lush getting all those products. I got some other stuff too, which some of the things that they recommended, not for my psoriasis, but just for my hair in general, like the the conditioner that I got I think I got the strawberry American dream curl I don't remember what it is and then I got the R&B which I like those products but yeah I, I mean this alone was like $25 and oh it was bad but yeah though these both of these products and the hair doctor just made my scalp unbearably bad so yeah i completely regret purchasing those so i believe that is everything that i can find in my makeup stash i'm sure i have more things but that is the stuff that stood out to me that i regret spending my money on and if you guys like this video be sure to show some love to that like button down there and if you subscribe you can be one of my gypsies and every single one of you counts i recently got up to 500 of you guys and I'm so glad that y'all are here watching me and that I am somewhat entertaining to you. So thank you guys for all being here and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.